Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over Ethereum and Bitcoin for you all, showing you the positions that I'm in right now, how I'm trading this, what I'm looking for and uh, the support that we are finding right now, okay? So we're bouncing off of an important support level being the 618. If you're in shorts, this is a good obviously take profit area, uh, although I actually haven't but I'll, I'll manage that in a second. Uh, but nevertheless, we're hitting an important support being the 618 around 8,100. So I'll cover that and how that's brought us up to the point of where we are right now so i hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this one it should be a good one um with some good educational content thrown in as well so let's let's begin here with bitcoin so what led us to this point what led us to this bounce that we're seeing right now and okay and it was the perfection 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 of technical analysis it really was you know technical analysis could be history repeating itself and it really was in this in this example that i'm going to show you right now uh this was obviously what i was recognizing before this move up to the weekly level the symmetry between these two moves so and a move to the upside downwards consolidation, upwards move in the channel, break out of the channel to the golden pocket, expansion to the upside. Okay, same scenario again, move up, downwards consolidation, upwards move inside of the parallel channel, break down to the 618 golden pocket and expansion to the upside. So this move is basically a copy and paste. Okay, and if you load it up here, you literally see this move here was a copy paste in here you had the exact same channels downward sloping upward sloping to the golden pocket pump upward sloping downward sloping upward sloping down to the golden pocket pump so it was literally exactly the same and what you've done here is you took the highs 8800 obviously reaching a high 8820 so you take those highs get a swing failure pattern and you had plenty of time by the way to even short this at 8800 it wasn't hard uh, i'll show you down here what it would have looked like and let's just go back to it a second. You had really plenty of time. If you had alert set, you were up here for a good 15 minutes. Okay, so you see here, if you had the alert on the weekly, you hit the weekly. Okay, then you move up. Okay, knowing that the high is 8,800, you swing failure pattern the high, and then obviously you, you fall down again. So uh, obviously you have to be awake <laughs> or have alerts to, to get in that move. But um, yeah, it wasn't not too hard of a short. And then obviously from there, we have come back down to the weekly which i've got a uh, 8219 okay 8219 coming back up and this for me was the another real nice perfection of technical analysis this is the bearish gartley pattern another one that i I've, obviously i posted my group first but um yeah i recognize this as well be obviously before any move happened to the downside highlighting that we've just had a very nice bearish harmonic gartley pattern come up here uh not often you get to see these they're so nice okay and I'll show you another perfect 618. And this is from the uh, low low of A to the top of B. Okay, down to that 618 <laughs> to, to get to finish that D leg. Okay, but uh, yeah, that's like a pretty perfect Gartley bearish. Uh, but then obviously you see a, you see, well, uh, obviously originally I was looking at it here. And you had that bearish move down. Okay, then you come up and take the highs again. And you can just, uh, and, and, as, as you never took the low, all part of the same move in my opinion. Okay, and from here you obviously have come up to the highs. You've come that down. So you're looking for target 618 of C to D. Or a one-to-one -one extension of X to A from D. How I look at this. And you can see here, this is the obviously the profit taking um, box that you're looking at. One-to-one -one extension side of the golden pocket. Is there a surprise that you're seeing a bounce here? No, you really shouldn't be surprised there's a bounce here. Um if I'm honest, <laughs> and I and I actually shorted this move up here. I was I'm short on this move up here. I'll show you the account that I was trading on. This is just for me, uh, like a uh, challenge account. It's not my primary account, so I haven't actually locked in any profits. But uh, not really too bothered if I'm honest. But I'll go through those trades that I'm in on the on that account in a second. Um, and then lastly, oh yeah, I'll go. I loaded up this because I want to show you this Ethereum uh, Elliott Wave account. Um, so yeah, I was sculpting with a member. Uh, we were just, going, you know, obviously I have a right, right, right range of things. Some people want to do lessons. Some people just want to trade with me <laughs> because why, why, I guess why wouldn't. But uh, yeah, what we had here going on before this breakdown, which was so lovely, by the way, we had this symmetrical triangle. Okay, so let me, I'll show you the positions that I'm in, by the way. So I'm in this uh, Ethereum short. Okay, and this, so they were both offered the same idea, literally the liquidity grab for the upside uh, to shoot it back down so that's the ethereum look literally getting in on the highs of those wicks and bitcoin very similar getting in on the high of the wick to send that back down so we've been in well obviously the lesson's ended now but i was in this for what about an hour now so it's it's pr pretty nice to see those moves but i'll show explain now what we were looking at here okay so actually i was bringing this back this pivot here and to this pivot okay and what we were seeing here was a little symmetrical triangle form so if you're looking at this as some form of a b c d e however you want to envisage it to make it easier for yourself but nevertheless a triangle okay so trading the break of the triangle bearishly okay what you've done here you hit a measured move of the triangle okay so that's obviously from low 
to the high of the triangle, you can break this, move this over to the to the breakout. Obviously, you hit the measured move of that triangle. Okay, I think actually I might have had that hour I had it originally, uh, but nevertheless, we were hitting the measured move of that triangle. Okay, so once you've hit the measured move of the triangle, you obviously are envisaging a little bit of support to come in. Okay, why were I well? I'll give you a very easy answer. Why was I envisaging these highs to be taken? Pretty easy, a liquidity grab. So I love trading liquidity grabs, and you basically are seeing the highs being taken. Highs being taken. Everybody either trying to the breakout or people that have stops being set here everybody's basically looking to buy it equals a good time to sell you send that and you send it back down i really should have taken profits on these uh i'm probably just going to close it because uh well i'm, I'm just going to leave it I'll, I'll manage it once i finish this video why i don't want to do it on stream but um yeah nevertheless uh from that we can obviously see the liquidity grab which was also coinciding with the top of this parallel channel okay top of the parallel channel really nice confluence to look for a short here Okay, highs of the move, liquidity grab, and on Ethereum, you'll also see the same highs of the move and liquidity grab to the downside. Ethereum currently bouncing here off of a, a, a trend line trend line area obviously the btc pair still in this upward sloping channel and uh bitcoin off of the golden pocket very very important support um yeah i probably should be uh <laughs> looking to take a long really off of this uh but nevertheless i'm doing this update for you all right now so in the very short term you're looking at 8219 as a resistance being that weekly back test right now 8219 uh up to 8250 okay so that would be your next resistance areas and really 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 crucial support you cannot underestimate this support it's very important being literally 8073 dollars if you lose that i am expecting moves lower to the downside okay and uh, for this elliot wave count obviously that i you know, was very openly bearish on this one uh, on Ethereum, expecting lower prices. And this was because you had a perfect 618 bounce. And when you have a perfect 618, obviously from high to low, hitting 618 rejection, okay, one has to envision, envision, um, you know, that's an ABC zigzag, in my opinion. Okay, and then obviously on the overall move, you're coming in here with a WXY potential ending. Uh, but I traded this more short term sort of plays. Um, but yeah, that's how I've been trading this. As you can all see, like, I mean, T my t technical analysis doesn't lie I've, I've traded this extremely well and that's not to being big headed but literally i don't think you could have traded it much better and that's me trying to be in the most humble way possible just like telling you literally technical analysis does totally work it's been absolute perfection it's not me being better than anyone else it's just me using the tools well and just just hopefully i've explained today like the perfection of technical analysis with the exact symmetry of this move seen it twice just Amazing. Also with the five waves up and obviously you got bearish then divergences going on on the fifth wave and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, coming up to weekly levels, taking highs, you know, swing failure patterns. This is all technical reasons to get a rejection up here. Obviously getting that rejection. Okay, coming down to weekly, getting a bounce from the weekly, forming bearish harmonic patterns. Okay, so here you have the bearish Gartley, Gartley patterns hitting targets. Okay, then forming triangles, getting reactions and liquidity grabs from the triangles. Obviously, that was a measured move, target being hit, you know, move back up to the upside, taking liquidity grabs, coming down to golden pockets. And I, well, now I guess you could say on the very short term, back testing channels, just perfection isn't it even on the five minute time frame five minute you can see the midpoint 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 coming back down okay obviously the measured move of this uh symmetrical triangle coming to the top of the channel to the golden pocket back testing the bottom of the channel it's just i love technical analysis and for me it's not even the money it's literally not even the money i couldn't care less about it anymore but uh it's it's just i love being right <laughs> if i'm honest i love being right uh i love that feeling and you know you put in hours of work because I put in so many hours of work on technical analysis, don't get me wrong, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be able to do this putting in five minutes, but I put in so many hours and when it pays off for, for like this, I just love to say, look at that. Isn't it just perfect? Um, yeah, for me, that is just the best feeling. Um, so yeah, that's, this makes me basically this right here just is, is happiness. I just absolutely, absolutely love it. And I hope you can see my passion coming through on this video because for me, this is just, it, it gives me a smile and I, Honestly, don't care about the money. It's just like, this is such a good feeling. You know, I get, I just love it. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we can see of technical analysis. And I think this is also the reason why I'm so good because I have a passion, want to be the best. Like I think anyone in any walk of life, be it your full-time job or whatever you want to do, if, if you really want to be the best in your job and you have that passion to be the best, you will be the best. Like, you know, too many people go around in life doing things half assed you know, oh, I'd like to do that, but I can't really be bothered to put in the time, or I'd like to do that, but I, I want to watch TV, you know, what, do what you want, I guess, but, um, you know, <laughs> you can only be the best, I think, if you put in that time and you have that motivation to 
to really strive um and that's yeah what i have basically so i hope i've given you a bit of motivation to uh, show you some good technical analysis here and give you motivation that if you want to learn this stuff you absolutely can be it through me or be it through on your own you know you, you just got to learn this it's just absolute perfection and then obviously yeah, money is a great bonus, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thanks everybody for joining me in this video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed me showing you these, although this is obviously just a secondary account for me, but nevertheless, getting nailing that on a, on a group with somebody, very nice indeed. Um, yeah, happiness all around, I guess. And now on the short term, you're looking at this golden pocket slash back test, really, I'd say 8250, but currently on the bottom of this channel, okay? Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Obviously, if you do start finding support and you're looking for a third wave up, obviously the bearish scenario is that we're putting an ABC and we're coming down for lower prices. I will go into more detail on Vanilla Wave Count in another video for you all. Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed this one. If you have, I'd really appreciate a like. Uh, that would be great. Or a comment uh, if you're feeling very generous um, down below. <laughs> so yeah. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope I've put a smile on your face. Hope I've given you some motivation to learn technical analysis. Obviously, if you want to do it through me, uh, you come across to chartchampions.com and, uh, you know, feel free to join. But uh, obviously, having a mentor or somebody to ask questions is going to speed up the process uh, tenfold. It doesn't necessarily have to be me, but you, you, I would always recommend a mentor because otherwise you're going to be stuck doing this alone. Uh, but that's enough for me anyway. Uh, thanks everybody so much and have a great, brilliant day. I'll catch you in the next video and uh, good night. Cheers. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>